So, welcome everybody to the grand final of the Hogs of War League Season 1 playoffs here between, well, <laughs> what was kind of expected at the beginning of this season, but it is uh, Impastus Caster versus ADB95. These two met, of course, in the rank-up tournament back in uh, May. They met in the rank-up final where Caster won 2 one but this, of course, is going to be best of five. And, well, we're starting off on Dam Busters, which, as you saw, I absolutely annihilated Caster on Dam Busters somehow. Um, but he's sticking with pretty much the same lineup of two paratroopers, a scout, a gunner, and a scout. And ADB is going for two paratroopers, a gunner, a scout, and an orderly. So he's going with some heals, but both players sticking with two paratroopers to begin. And I think everyone is bursting with excitement for this one. Uh, because obviously whoever wins these next few rounds will be crowned the Season 1 champion. So whenever both players are ready to start, we will begin. Plenty of talking points, plenty to focus on, but it all comes down to these next five rounds. Uh, so we're going on Dambusters first, then the lake, then square off, then ice flow, and finishing, if we do go to round five, with P-Drag. So I'm ready to go. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Pinstripe. <laughs> you know that already. Uh, I'll try and keep an eye on the chat as much as I can, but uh, no guarantees. Uh, but I, I'm guessing these two are waiting until uh, we get to four o'clock. Cast uh, is asking if we are ready. I think we're ready to go. So damn busters it is. And we should have some game audio, I think. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Again, Parsec proves to be a little bit funky sometimes. Um, but obviously this first round, it will be decided at random who goes first, and it will be Caster. So he will, of course, be making safe states as always, and starting off with his paratrooper. Ooh, very close to his own health crate. So he could look to steal... ADB's health crate right off the bat, but it's going to be a close one. He's only got 20 seconds. Now he's going to go for his own. He's going to play it safe. Just about... No! Slips off the edge! And that's going to be costly. Caster was saying previously that he very much dislikes Dan Busters. He does get the health crate in the end, but I'm sure he didn't really want to, uh, to take any damage there. And that should... No! He's going to come short. Won't have enough and damages himself again. So you can see the nerves creeping in already for both players. And ADB taking his time. So we should be good to go. And yes, it's always the issue with Parsec. <laughs> As we said before, ADB uses the keyboard, caster the controller. But none of that matters now. It's all down to timing. Damage, and well, the long slog of Dam Busters. The caster on 202 health, ADB up to 230. Doesn't get enough time to get his shot away either. So nerves creeping in for both sides. Caster, yep, elevates his uh, jetpack just enough. If you were to go at the standard elevation, then... Uh, you would crash straight into the dam, so you need to have just a little bit of elevation up with the jetpack. He's going to pick up both, so he can use those later. But right now we will finally see some damage being outputted by Caster. Not the maximum, only gets 20. I think he might have damaged himself a little bit, I'm not sure. Kind of went in the middle. So neither player really making any major moves so far. Yeah, he did damage himself by two. Or was it 12? I wasn't really... Couldn't really see, but he's going to slide down. That could cost ADB some time. So he doesn't quite slip in the water, but he's going to ignore him and look to be king of the dam. He's got to get off the heavy weapons as soon as possible. Both players very hesitant at the moment to deal any kind of damage going forward, but he falls into the water. So he should be down to at least 80... Yeah, down to 76 in the end. 
And Caster goes with two scouts. ADB only the only player at the moment uh, with a healing option with his orderly who will be going last. And that is a pretty good shot there with the jetpack. It's a difficult, uh, difficult map to judge really with the elevation of the dam. Uh, but getting some good damage there. Look, ooh, potentially getting the double here. If you can get a lucky bounce, could get the damage. Oh, poisons his own pig, though. I think Caster might have forgotten or was hoping that maybe he would just leave his uh, own pig alone. But everyone is currently on this side of the map. Caster has gone full offensive, brought all of his pigs onto one side. So we have the paratrooper. In the corner, we have Caster's Paratrooper with... He was on 202, but he should be down to at least 180 by now after being poisoned. And yeah, the Gunner on 76. So ADB will look to capitalize. I don't think that's enough. Landing short, only 19 damage, but he will get the splash as well. An extra 14, and not quite a kill, but down to 19 damage. 19 health, sorry. So Caster on the back foot. The bar has put ADB just a little bit ahead. Yeah, Mascadino says if only they, were, they went to a fifth game. Well, you never know. You never know. But Castro will look to get a kill here. The flamethrower proving deadly. He will get some self damage on himself, but only five. So uh, ADB can't quite poison him. Can't really look to gain an extra turn, as he's down to 14 health. He's going to look to remove himself from that area, but ah, plenty of damage coming there. Down to 82, so 20 from that little swim in the drink. Uh, where does he go from here? He falls back down again. And yeah, just looks to get the kill, I think. It looks for the double. Well, not quite what I was expecting here, but yeah, he's going to get the double. So gets the kill on the gunner and poisons the paratrooper. Uh, yeah, and the bar still has it too close to tell. Caster still with a full health scout. He does have a long way to go if he wants to go and get a jetpack. Ooh, <laughs> gets the bounce, though, from jumping down. And yeah, how's everyone enjoying the playoffs so far? Can everyone hear me good? Can everyone hear me fine and clear? Am I talking too much? Probably. But he does get the jetpack and he looks to get the shot away with the grenade launcher. He will be full power, I imagine. But I'd be surprised if he can hit anything with this. Yes, gets the 29 damage on the orderly. And the orderly slips down as well. So he will be down to 111 health. That was a pretty good shot. But like I said, ADB with the only healer on the map will look to remo remove the poison. And needs to get the trank away within the next four seconds. It's going to be close. He does indeed. So gains himself an extra turn. It's still very much advantage ADB having killed the gunner. Now gains himself another turn. Caster does have the full health scout and the 177 paratrooper. So yeah, he needs to take out the orderly as soon as he can, I think. Otherwise that's going to dampen his opportunities to poison, gain extra turns, all kinds of stuff. The orderly down to 65. <laughs> Rimsky on 230. And yeah, again, he's going to wilter down Caster's health. Look to knock him in the water as well, I think. Get him as close as he can. Maybe look for the scoop, but he is in the corner. That's a tricky angle. Because you do risk hitting yourself on the bridge, on the, the, the dam, sorry. And that's not going to be enough. He was looking for the long one. But uh, couldn't quite get it. But he should get enough time here with the... <laughs> Self damage, but gets the, I think, 29 there on the scout, but misses a turn. So another big advantage. And oof, ADB with a full health gunner as well. 
with the jetpacks at his disposal. So just so, so much health going on at the moment. ADB is going to look to knock him off that platform. Nudge him down to 117 health if he can get a full damage shot. That should be good. Gets the 38 and the water damage is incoming. Oh, that's going to be a lot there. Should be down to at least 70 or so. We have 71. The scout positioned right on the edge of the dam here. A little bit, uh, a little bit lucky for Castor, I suppose. But he does still have his other scout on his side of the map. And he's, yeah, looking at getting the extra damage. Doesn't want to position the paratrooper. <laughs> Goes for the knife instead. So, wants to make sure that the paratrooper ends up down in the drink. And he is reduced to 165 health. So, still huge pools of health just everywhere at the moment. But look at all of these pigs just, just chilling. Just chilling at the bottom of the dam, you know. Just having a good time. Some are poisoned, some are tranquilized. Everyone's having a good time. <laughs> but uh, look at all those jetpacks as well. Four of them for ADB. So if he wanted to, he can just fly around with his scout. But he will look to shoot the paratrooper if he has enough time. The scope is a little bit too slow. Oh, just about. Sniper rifle is notorious for having a slow scope. Being able to move it around becomes slower the more you are scoped in, or at least the longer you're scoped in. But just gets the shot away in the hitboxes, proving uh, pretty kind and favourable to ADB there. And the paratrooper down to 11 health. So Castor now has all of his pigs positioned either on the dam or on ADB side of the map. So he's going full on offensive. And he will look to poison the orderly, but he needs to he needs this to connect. Just about gets the bounce off the dam. He's down to 44. And well. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna look to gain himself an extra turn as he bounces on the head of the paratrooper, moving him down to 10 health as he's poisoned. He can gain another turn here if he looks to trank as well. Doesn't really have enough time to heal. So that is two extra turns gained for ADB. Yeah, it's proving tricky at the moment for Caster because while well, ADB has a huge amount of health, paratrooper down to 41, his own paratrooper up to 165 health. And he's just going to saunter away, and I think look to damage the paratrooper even more. I mean, no, he's probably going to go for the scouts, just needs to locate them on the top of the bridge, knock them off. I keep saying the bridge, on the top of the dam. Needs to knock them down. A little bit short. But he will come back to Caster. And he will immediately lose his turn. So maybe ADB will look to gain another turn if he can get a full damage shot here and keep the paratrooper on the any kind of land basically, as long as he doesn't fall in the water. It should be fine. He goes for the mortar instead. Wants to get it just right. That's a little bit too much. It's a very tough shot to try and get it to land right on top of the dam. You have a very thin margin for error, but unfortunately that will cost ADB some kind of damage. As with both scouts, they both have access to poison and access to, well, pretty much every pig that ADB has at the moment. They can see them near enough, but he's going to look to gain himself an extra turn. No, he changes his mind. Doesn't want to risk it because you need to get the full full the full thirty damage to gain himself another turn. So instead, goes to snipe the scout right in the face, down to sixty two health. <laughs> and ADB is taking no chances, and I think he wants to remove them from the top of the dam as soon as possible. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree, Hubbed Up. The, uh, the hitboxes are proving pretty generous 
at the moment. He looks to get the double again with the poison. Which he does, it rolls along, that should be good. Gets the double. Caster still has a fair amount of health, but at the moment ADB has the advantage again, just constant poison. And it comes back to Caster. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. It's been a long day. So I apologize if you hear me drinking and whatnot. I need to uh, keep my voice alive for the amount of matches we have coming up in this grand final. So again, ADB will have a chance to uh, gain another turn. He's going to look to heal as well. But he does still have Tranquilizer remaining. There's no point healing him. And yeah, I think again he's just going to come back down again, do a circle, and use that final tranquilizer. Whoa! <laughs> Manages to get the extra damage. Needs to spin around one second to go. Just about gets it away. So that's going to do him some good, as again the paratrooper will perish when he takes his next turn. So ADB very much in control of this one. He just needs to deal with the two scouts on top of the dam. Uh, but it seems he doesn't have any jetpacks remaining, so he needs to collect these ones, or at least one of them. Whoa! Cycles back down. Not sure if he meant to do that one, but he does have an extra bit of cover. Doesn't want to be in the sight line of the scouts. Needs to go a little bit more to the right. I think he's missed where he was. No, so not quite, but does gain himself another turn after the scouts have taken their go. <laughs> Caster bouncing down there. Looks to close the gap and I guess get rid of the orderly as soon as he can. And that could prove uh, to be pretty good as he kills his own paratrooper to remove himself missing another go and the orderly now down to 15 health but the gunner still with full health the paratrooper still with 165 it's proving difficult here and as adb won't want to lose a turn but i think if he just prioritizes damage here he should have this one in the bag of course this is going to be some big revenge type stuff for adb considering he uh, lost in the rank up final against Caster, and that's going to be a big amount of damage. 31 plus the water, he makes it out, but uh, well, could look to lose his turn. And Caster will take no time in uh, jumping on his head twice to kill the scout. And where does he go from here? Because well, he's got his work cut out for him here, he's got 93. On his current scout. He's got 19 on his other scout below him. And he looks to poison the heavy weapons, I believe. Mm, is that enough? It is indeed. It drops just in front of him. So again, looking to utilize the poison wherever possible. But the scout does perish. And the orderly mm, could look to maybe heal on his last turn. But instead, oh, I'd go for the knife here, given that the... Given that the scout is on 19 health, instead he's going to look to just kill himself in the process. So he doesn't lose another turn. Not entirely sure what angle he's trying to get this at, but... <laughs> he's trying to use it to blast himself, but instead just ends up killing himself. Doesn't even damage the scout. Again, I would have just gone with the knife there, but... Either way, Kassa has a, a long way to go to try and damage anybody. Only 20 seconds, and he only has 9 health, so his movement is limited. And, well, I don't want to rule Caster out of this first round, but it's very much still advantage to ADB. I think if the scout on top of the bridge wasn't poisoned, then it could be a very different scenario, but... He's going to poison the heavy weapons again, and poisons the paratrooper. 
So a decent use of de decent use of his final turn with that scout, but ADB will not hesitate to uh, close the distance between him and the scout. The last thing you want is a scout with a full sight line and some distance between you and him. So with his final jetpack, he gets up there, scoops him down. And no, no water damage. Bounces in the middle. But nevertheless, <laughs> the scout now down to 49 health. So all it will take is a single bazooka shot to end the life. Caster doesn't want to lose another turn, but again, it's uh, kind of short-lived given that he is already poisoned. There is no ma mathematical way that he can win this round at this point. So instead he's going to hide, which is interesting, but it's kind of postponing the inevitable at this point. So ADB will look to blow open his crate. Caster seems to be the only player so far who has really utilized the hide. We haven't seen it that much in the league, but it doesn't do him any good here. As that will be the end of his scout. Now ADB does not care about damaging himself, just wants to kill the enemy scout, and round one here of the grand final goes to ADB. <laughs> Plenty of damage happening everywhere. Even more damage happening to his own gunner, but it's not going to matter. So with round one over, ADB finishes with two pigs remaining. Dam Busters is done. And well, what a way to start. It was uh, a pretty slow burner, I'm not going to lie. In this one, Caster will be going for a Sapper Grenadier Orderly Sapper and a Scout, and ADB a Grenadier Medic Sapper Sapper Scout. So yeah, both players utilizing the same familiar classes. The strongest ones on this map, of course, are going to be the Sappers. And with ADB taking the lead, Caster is already on the back foot, but it will be ADB to go first as well. Seeing as Caster went first on Dam Busters, but failed to take that first round. So it is all to play for. And if ADB can take a 2-0 lead, then, well, Caster has his work cut out for him because he will need to win the last three rounds in order to win uh, Season 1 of this league. So ADB will be looking to increase his lead over Caster. And he has an advantage here going first. And, well, positioning <laughs> his uh, first spawn point in that uh, area of no return, as we call it. If you have a pig in that area and you are able to blast him into those mines behind ADB at the moment, then usually it is game over. But he will be looking to blast him as soon as possible with the cluster bomb. That is... Uh, a sapper as well, so he does have a lot of health. ADB needs to blast him in the right direction. Gets one, gets two, doesn't get the knockback needed. And Caster will be turning his attention elsewhere, I think. The spawn points do change. Caster seems to have the favorable ones as well, if you look at the minimap. Uh, compared to ADB's on the other side, just surrounded by mines. Caster is close to the mines near the water, but that should be a kill here. As anything that like Oh no! No, he swims the other direction. He will make it, but the yeah, the mine will finish him off. And that is unfortunate. Anyone who lands in the lake is basically a crispy critter. And I'm surprised there the pig didn't swim back towards the island. It's unfortunate for ADB, but unfortunately we cannot control pigs when they are swimming. So his orderly goes next, and he's going to look to tranquilize the Grenadier, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. He's changing his mind. Looks to maybe knock him in the mines instead, but the, the grenade launcher is, let's call it unreliable. Old unreliable. Yeah, and just, you need to get it like dead center in order to have enough knockback, but it just wasn't enough. And Caster can move freely with his Grenadier, just move out of this area, maybe. He doesn't really want to stay on the bridge. Wants to move into an area with some kind of cover, maybe using the tree. Yeah, he is friends of the trees after all. 
but instead he's going to turn his attention, I think, to the orderly, perhaps. Yeah, uses the tree for cover to block any kind of TNTs that might be coming his way. Uh, looks to blast the orderly towards the mines, but once again, the knockback not really coming through for anybody. So I think ADB will turn his attention to the guy in the middle there, which I believe is another sapper. Because I think if he blasts him, he could get a kill, but yeah, if you blast him anywhere near the water, he is a goner. But instead, he's turning his attention to the orderly, who again could be knocked into the mines and into the water, but ah, it's a tough one here. Again, using the tree for cover, so good positioning by both players. He does get the mine damage. And a little bit more that could be a kill here. Depends on where he swims. The orderly is a goner. He is going to drown, and both players just blow for blow here. As ADB loses his sapper, Caster loses his orderly. And it's all to play for here. Yeah, this is the area that is kind of a little bit safer, just in this corner where there are no mines around you. But everywhere else on this map, you just have to think about where you're standing and how that can affect... Uh, the upcoming turns, but the guide missiles are on the cards here for Caster. That can be huge. As anyone who takes them can guarantee themselves at least... Oh no! Connects with the tree! Hitbox is there. He, he only had one second remaining, so... Blast himself down to 98 health. And yeah, the, <laughs> the top of the tree can be uh, not so forgiving. When it comes to hitboxes, and I think ADB is going to maybe position himself. No, I thought he positioned himself uh, in. Whoa, steady on there. <laughs> I thought he'd position himself in the area where the health crate would drop down, but he's going to stay here instead and go for the grenadier, it seems. Go for the poison who's on 99, so that'll knock him down to uh, 84. And the scout. Again, can still pick up the guide missiles. And he will be looking to not make the same mistake. You need to be careful of the hitboxes of the trees. But again, both players remaining close. That's so dangerous. <laughs> he's very wary and cautious of the fact. So he's going to go into open ground and instead just aim it straight up for it to come straight back down on to the... Orderly, so 70 damage there or so, and he is oh, crispy critter once again, and we come back to the Grenadier, so neither player now having an Orderly. And there could be another kill on the cards here, depending on the outcome of this shot. Cluster Bomb has enough to deal 105 damage maximum. No. Does get a lot, though, from the extra... Extra bombs, but it's not enough to kill him. And the other sapper here on 97. So it's still a very, very close game. Neither side having an orderly now. Both sides still with their grenadiers intact. Caster's grenadier is poisoned. The sapper, again, you think you're safe, but as soon as you have a sapper that can plant a TNT, it can be game over because you can end up bouncing off the rock into the minefields, and we might see it here. Yeah, it slides into the mines just about, and the health does come about for ADB, but he is too far away. He might make his way there, boost his uh, pig's health up to 100, sorry, up to 200. I don't think he has the time, and well, <laughs> the sapper on 27, I think, yeah, he's going to look for the simple shotgun shot here. Doesn't want to go too close to damage himself. Questioning whether to use the shrapnel. I would just go for the shotgun. Get him out of here. Get out of here, man. And then pick up the guide missiles that he drops. So only 8 damage, but the grenadier as well. Ooh, down to 74, but the health crate being right there will boost him back up to 124. So, uh, well, <laughs> look at the scout positioned right on the edge of the mines. He's going to pick up, I think, another guide missile. 
Another two. He's going to probably stand on the bridge, maybe. Nope. Going to go near the trees. Needs to get his shot away. Only a second remaining. Just about on zero seconds. And look at the position here between these two players. Oh, the crate explosion. 62 on the Grenadier. 93 here for the scout. Not sure how much damage was taken on the sapper as well. But that will be big, big damage for Caster. And the scout is at its weakest here. I mean, sure, you can poison, but really, what else can you do? Grenadier, like I said, back up to 124. He's going to look to poison again, play the long game, but I don't know. It's a risky strategy. And again, ADB can't really stand anywhere without the threat of being thrown into the mines. And Caster still with a full health scout. It's very much looking... In Caster's favor at the moment. So again, looking for the trees for cover. Doesn't want to uh, get hit by any kind of TNT. But there is still a possibility that he can be killed from there. He's going to go for the Grenadier, get him out the way. Oh, was that enough? I think so. 62 again. No, oh, 50 something. 52, I believe. So we should be good to go again with the Grenadier taking his turn on 6 health. I believe he can move. So as the timer starts, where does he go from here? He has limited movement right now. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, there's not really much you can do besides just hit and hope. I try and nudge him towards the right to try and get him towards the mines, but look at that explosion <laughs> right up on top of the cliff. And the kill! So it takes down the scout who was, was on full health, and that changes this game completely, as now it is 3v2. Grenadier and Sapper versus Grenadier, Sapper and Scout, but the position... At the moment is that Caster has picked up even more health. So he's up to uh, crazy limits of health now. And the TNT is going to come out here. So yeah, he's going to place it in the middle, try and get some damage on the Grenadier. So that should be a kill, which it is just about. I say that. Caster's Sapper is only on 122, and there is a guide missile there. Oh no, a rocket launcher, sorry, if he wants it, but I would go for the TNT. You look at the placement here, yeah, he could knock him down into the mines. So could ADB take this one? This is a, a deadly place to be. He just needs to get the right amount, he needs to get some luck. But don't forget that the Grenadier still holds some guide missiles on Caster's team. Oh! Does he get lucky? He does. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So the mine blasts him out of the minefield. Doesn't end up getting the kill. And that, again, could be a huge turning point. Just the scales are flipping and flopping everywhere. He's not even going to use the guide missile. It's just so unlucky for ADB there. And again, that could be another kill. Yep, <laughs> he drowns, apparently. That's a strange one, but... We uh, see something new every day, it seems, in Hogs of War. Different areas equals different kinds of explosion. <laughs> I don't know. But the scout perishes. Uh, I think ADB's attention will turn now. Whoopsie daisy. Will turn on to the Grenadier. He is in a position to be blasted into the mines, but he won't have enough time. So instead, he's going to maybe look to get off this section. It's a dangerous place to be. He doesn't have any time. It needs to get some damage away. And he does with a shrapnel. Only 8 damage, though. That is unfortunate. Look how close Caster came to losing his sapper. And that's where everything could have changed. It could be 1v1 right now. But Caster, with the extra pig, just makes ADB's life even worse. And picking up the rocket launchers, he can just get a simple rocket launcher shot maybe from here. But, uh, not really sure... He only has eight seconds remaining, so he's kind of banking that everything works on this one. 
And yeah, he should fall into the mines. Caster brings it back on the lake, getting very lucky with the mines and just, whew, what a game that was. So Caster goes first on this round, which means that when we go to Ice Flow, it will be ADB to go first. So there is potential for this to go to the fifth and final round. It just depends on the outcome here as to who takes the advantage because it will be a huge blow uh, in terms of morale for whoever loses this round because then they have to win the next two games in order to be crowned champion. There's just so many factors involved, but Caster starting with his paratrooper and we'll look to collect the cluster bomb as soon as possible. This house proves to be a, a decent one when it comes to protection, but Caster will take no time in blasting somebody into the water. He needs to be cautious of the explosive barrel, taking that into account, so he moves further back. And we'll roll this along. Uh, doesn't get the knockback again, the cluster bomb. Sometimes it just depends on when you detonate it, but sometimes it can prove to be a difficult one. Now, can this be some kind of redemption for ADB, given that he still hasn't really had that much luck here on uh, Square Off? He lost against Raging Looney. He lost on this map against Mascatino a couple of hours ago. And he has the pillbox currently, so he will look to deal some standard 40 damage onto the gunner, drop his health down to 100. Remember, Caster has two gunners and three paratroopers. And ADB's lineup, like I said, is a little bit more orthodox. But Caster is just going to be looking to punch as hard as he can when it comes to damage. And I mean, heavy weapons is the easiest way to do that, but he overshoots it. So down to only 14 damage in the end. And ADB, where does he go from here? Because he's going to be keeping an eye on when the Super TNT drops. But he can gain himself another turn here. Uh, and of course look to do some healing. But taking water damage again. That was pretty costly in the last game. You saw his sapper drop down to only 20 health. But uh, focusing on positioning here. Needs to be careful of the explosive barrel. He's positioning himself next to the house. To get some kind of protective cover from any kind of heavy weapons. And here comes the random crate. So who knows what it could be. There are crates everywhere on both corners, but neither player is currently positioned on either side. Everything's happening on one side of the map at the moment. Uh, unless ADB has a hidden scout somewhere. I don't think so, but Caster yeah, is positioning himself in line with where the Super TNT will drop. So unless ADB wants to nudge him from that platform, we will see. But Caster slipping down here, wasting some time. Not sure if that was intentional. Wants to move forward and get the uh, get the paratrooper. A lovely shot there. 38 damage and the water damage as well. But only down to 82 health. So there is some... They're, they're jetpacks. That's not uh, anything fancy. But that will be handy for even more maneuverability. Just to avoid any kind of uh, <laughs> unnecessary water damage. And there is the Super TNT there as well. I don't think ADB is quite realized just yet, but uh, he's only got six seconds to go. I think he's, yeah, he's having input issues here. That is unfortunate, but he will hold on to the Super TNT, but he will blast him into the water, and that should be a kill here. Yes, yes, the kill on the paratrooper. So even though he didn't have enough time to use the Super TNT, it was enough to knock him into the water. So Casa will pick up the extra crate first. He gets the shockwave. We've seen it before on this map. You can get it sometimes, but he will focus down the pillbox with the flamethrower. And that should be enough to destroy it, I believe. It does six damage all the time. <laughs> and the grenadier almost falling into the water. Same with Caster as well. His heavy weapons almost falling in the water, but ADB will also pick up... Oh, just some roller grenades, so nothing too fancy. 
but he could look to knock the heavy weapons in the water. He needs to knock him to the right, because if he knocks him into the left, no, he's going for the poison instead. I was going to say, if he knocked him to the right, he would have to swim to the furthest point available, because if you knock them towards that grate, then they do automatically just run back onto the land here, but Caster could get another kill with the paratrooper <laughs> as the grenadier swims. You can see him swimming there in the bottom left. He does drown, so the grenadier is done. Caster still has 10 seconds remaining, so he can look to maybe position himself elsewhere, maybe get a bazooka shot away, which he does. Looking for the paratrooper. Can he get a double? That is a decent shot. Not quite, though. Only 11 damage. So the super shotgun, sorry, the super TNT can still be a big factor in this one. And the caster still has a paratrooper who is tranquilized. There could be a potential kill on the cards here if he can, if ADB can position this right. Is he's only on 100 health, so you can kind of see the limitations coming through for caster in relying on the heavy weapons primarily, but he drops in and another kill there so <laughs> adb oof, it's now 4v3 and he can just continue to tranquilize but don't forget caster does have a shockwave and he'll be looking to use that i think as soon as possible probably on the orderly more than anybody and here he is the man with the shockwave he destroyed the pillbox previously but instead he's going to retreat to the furthest point over here get some distance between him and his opponent he's not going to rely on the mortar either so instead he's going for a low angled shot he's taking my kind of approach but again just not quite enough angle too low down and it is absorbed by the grassy part of the land so now's the time for adb to come in and kill somebody, either the paratrooper or the heavy weapons. I guess it comes down to who has the most health. It will be the paratrooper. So another kill here. That is a, a big factor on square off. You can get the super TNT, <laughs> the full 200 damage and the lost turn as well. The scout on full health. ADB sitting comfortable with all of his pigs here, just being able to Constantly deal damage onto the paratrooper. Looks to poison, looks to shoot. Who knows which one he will go for. I think he needs to get the health down of the paratrooper as soon as he can. So he can nudge him down to 50 at least. And he does exactly that. So it is 2 versus 4. He cast it down to 95 health, but he will probably look to shockwave somebody now. Uh, he doesn't want to make that jump. Especially with the heavy weapons, they are too too thick and heavy to make that jump. They will always fall down. So rather than use the shockwave just yet, he will look to maybe nudge him towards an explosive barrel, potentially. So playing it dangerous. Does get the explosive barrel, but it's not enough. But Paratrooper does fall into the water for a little bit of damage. But this should be another kill here for ADB with the TNT. As he is on 50 health, and well, it's very much advantage to ADB. He is looking to redeem himself here on Square Off and remove the Square Off curse, I guess, given his previous two defeats. And yeah, it's not looking too good for Caster here. Seeing as he is poisoned, if he wasn't, it could be a different situation. Uh, but he's going to, I think, yeah, he's going to gamble and just look to jump. Can he make it? Yes, he can. Ooh, just about. The heavy weapons can make that jump. So he can get some kind of a kill here. And for some reason, <laughs> looks to get all three of them. So rather than going for one single pig, he looks to blast all three, but doesn't get the amount of knockback necessary. I think he has kind of realized that he is going to lose this one as ADB cleans up with a trank. He's down to 55 health now, and well, the paratrooper can just close the distance with the jetpacks and should be able to finish this one off. Uh, so we can safely assume that ADB has won this round. 
which means that we are going to go, of course, continue on to round four. Oh, goes for the scoop. He did get some damage. I don't think that is enough, though. As he moves down to 14 health, but it's not going to matter. This caster, I think, will finish off. No, he's going to look to jump into the pillbox. Interesting strategy, but he only has two turns remaining. So is this going to look to do some collateral damage here? Maybe get the double. I think he's aiming for <laughs> trying to get the double on both of these guys. If he can get that one. No, misses the orderly and misses the paratrooper. So I think ADB can just skip his turn here. Let things play out as they should. And goes for the roller grenade. But while this game ends, we get to look forward to the next round on Ice Flow, which we haven't seen so far in the playoffs. We did see it quite a few times in the league matches. But this will be the first Ice Flow round in the grand final of all things. Uh, but I can tell you that both players, <laughs> both players in the next round will be starting with a paratrooper but it will be uh, Caster to go first. And, uh, well, he does manage to get the kill on the Paratrooper, so it wasn't all for nothing. But ADB finishes with three players remaining, and it is now 2-1 to ADB, so I'm sure Caster's feeling the pressure. I'm sure they are both feeling the pressure, as we have two rounds left before the end of Season 1. So yeah, I think we are good to go. Ice Flow can sometimes be a quick map. Just depends on the spawn points as they are kind of different. So if Caster wins this round, we do go to a fifth and final round on P-Drag of all maps. Uh, but ADB just needs to win this match, this round here, to be crowned Season 1 champion. And look at this ADB. Oh my goodness me. All four pigs just... Oof. Spawn locations. Caster will be feeling pretty hard done by by that one. As ADB goes first. I forgot. Caster went first in the last game. <laughs> I'm just forgetting everything at this point. But he can just continue to deal damage. And that is going to be a huge blow for Caster. As being poisoned on this map is uh, not what you want. And <laughs> ADB here flying away. I think he meant to detonate. But instead he just gets out of there. And instead positions himself elsewhere. So what does Caster do from here? Paratrooper down to 70. The orderly's here as well, so that is another big pick as well. So he will look to do the same thing. Down to 103. I think he's going to look to use two and then maybe jetpack away. He doesn't want to be stuck on the island, but the orderly swimming the other direction. Down to 49 health. He could look to gain himself another turn here. Yeah, he's going to look to escape, but also deal damage at the same time. Position himself next to the tree, and I think the orderly is dead. He is indeed, so another kill there. Well, a kill there, sorry. Even though ADB got some quick-ass damage, Caster was able to, re re to retaliate with a kill. Uh, but ADB positioning himself very close to house here. And uh, he's looking for the scout, I think, just to get rid of him on that island. Remove him from the game. I think that should be enough to kill him, really. Does get the full 60 and in the poison water again. He's not dead just yet, but he will maybe lose another turn. But Caster, well, he has a long way to go to try and heal him. He's on 15 health. And I don't think he has enough time, really, but he can... Look to heal up his uh, paratrooper back up to 90. And ADB just getting unlucky, really, with his orderly's position in the middle. <laughs> the spawn positions are always random on this map. Um, there are a set amount of spawn positions, but the uh, all four pigs starting on that small island was not expected. As you can see in the bottom left of the mini map, no one is currently. Uh, on those islands where there is no poison water but just regular water unless um unless adb has a scout that's just chilling we don't know as you know he doesn't i don't think anybody does but either way 
need to be will look to blast him here into the poison water it's a tricky one because there are trees in the way so that will be at least 49 damage but can he get the poison as well 49 and the poison yes indeed as he swims out but down to 75 health but caster here with his grenadier on the top not where he would want him to be at all he wants to be throwing grenades as soon as possible but instead he has to make the trek all the way around he doesn't want to be on the high ground grenadier of course is most powerful at close to mid range long range is just not his forte and with adb scout tranquilized he's gonna instead look to i think go for the paratrooper maybe or the sapper he goes for the paratrooper down to 59 damage so he moves down to 68 the scout misses his turn and this game is still pretty even I say that just as Caster is about to take his final turn with his scout. So I think he will look to uh, maybe Kamikaze here. We will see. The last thing he'll want right now is to lose a turn. <laughs> so it takes a little bit of damage. Yeah, I think he might uh, just blast him in the face here. Be surprised if he ends up living from this. I mean, or if he stays alive, he does. So the paratrooper isn't dead, but Caster again just surprisingly not looking to kill himself, and he will lose another turn unless he can get one of his own pigs to uh, take him out later. And a oh, ADB down to two health, not jumping, but he will get the kill on. <laughs> the scout there, but just very, very lucky not to perish in the end. And he's looking for the paratrooper, looks to get the angle, needs to get the right amount of power, doesn't want to go too far, he does go full. And yeah, goes a little bit too far. Ooh, so the sapper down to... 65 ADB Sapper is on 150 still. And it is 4v4 right now. So Caster wasting no time to jump on his head to get rid of the paratrooper. No need to waste a turn trying to shoot him. I was saying earlier on today that is something I tend to forget to do a lot of the time. But look at the paratrooper positioned right next to the poison water. That's going to be close. <laughs> He will take a hefty amount of damage. 46 plus poison equals a total health of 87. So the paratrooper is done. 3v4. Caster still very much in this one. Despite ADB's first round shenanigans. I guess you could say with the jetpacks. And well, I think he needs to go for the orderly here. He needs to get rid of him. Instead looking for the grenadier. Yeah, he needs to remove the orderly. But when it comes to positioning, he doesn't want to be close to the mines. So again, just it's very difficult at the moment to really be standing in a good position. So instead, he will go for the Grenadier. Does get a decent amount of damage there as well. Does slide, but no poison. And the paratrooper over here on the high ground also looks to close the distance. But uh, no one really favoring the high ground. Uh, I mean, it is pretty dangerous up there given the minefield. So instead, Caster opts to come down onto the low ground and, well, straight in the water here. Down to so 53 damage. Sorry, 53 health. My brain is no longer functional at the moment. <laughs> uh, the orderly down to, sorry, the grenadier down to 33 health. I'm losing my trail of thought. Oh, yeah, I think he has to get rid of the... Uh, let's get rid of somebody as he looks to blast the... Sa the <laughs> looks to blast the paratrooper close to the grenadier, but instead looks to just take out the grenadier. And I think that's probably a wise move given his uh, hefty arsenal, which can... or would uh, prove to be... Um, 
pretty devastating later on. But the next problem for ADB is the orderly, as he can now remove the poison from the sapper back up to 83. He is still on full health as well. So even though Caster suffered those early blows to his own scout and paratrooper, he has recovered pretty damn well. And ADB will pay for it with a trank shot to his sapper, who is body blocking as well. So that's not going to bode too well in the long run. So does ADB go for the poison on the orderly? Does he try and get the double here? I think if he was playing the long game, then yes, but it's... Uh, it's too close to tell right now. He doesn't have the health advantage given the orderly and the sapper. So he's gonna again it's gonna be a, a game of body blocking at the moment. And it's gonna come down to cast uh, either his sapper or his paratrooper here. It will come down to his sapper. But I think he might turn his attention to the grenadier instead, as he is the more scary target. And that should be a kill. If you can blast them into that corner. Uh, they will automatically explode, but he is only on 53, so just needs to get him into the water, which he does. And that will be night-night for the Grenadier. So, again, just brilliant recovery overall from Caster. I wasn't expecting him to bounce back so quickly, but Ice Flow is such a tricky map half the time. You just don't really know what to do. And... Well, I don't want to call it, but that is uh, an extra turn gained if oh, he does get out as well. So the sapper here is going to perish the scout on 107. There is a rocket launcher in the corner of the map, but he is going for the poison here. Interesting tactic given the time. He does look to get the double on his own pig so he doesn't lose a turn. That would be devastating for ADB. He does get the kill on his own pig. So three versus one, but yeah, he can just cancel that out immediately. And well, Caster is sitting comfortable. And I think he can just maybe finish things off here with uh, a tranquilizer or a rifle burst. He does still have one left. So yeah, I think we can call it and say that uh, this grand final is going to go to the fifth and final round. Unless ADB can just pull off a miracle here on Ice Flow. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's going to be a tough one for ADB overall. We have 30 people watching. And there's questions being asked in the chat all over the place. As to why certain things aren't being done. But you know. When you're in the heat of the moment. There's just so many factors going around in your head. Keeping track of the numbers. Keeping track of your own position. The damage you need to do. And the, the player's next turn. Just so many different things you need to think about. And it's unfortunate for ADB. Given the, like I said, the spawn locations at the very beginning. When you have all four pigs positioned in the middle of the poison water, you expect there to be some crazy kills going on. And maybe if uh, he'd been able to detonate his jetpack and get the extra damage onto the paratrooper, then uh, things might have been different. I don't know if that was down to input lag or not, but 50 damage onto the scout. Excuse me. <clears throat> And yeah, that will be just uh, another standard shot, really. There isn't much ADB can do. He can body block, but I don't think Caster's going to care so long as he gets the kill as he nudges him down to three health. And it will come down to the orderly to finish things off. I think he's going to, yeah, just look to pick up the rocket launcher, finish things off in style, and draw this back up to 2-2. Two, two. Both players with two wins each. And I am very excited for the next round on P-Drag because I haven't seen either of these players play on P-Drag yet. There's tanks and everything. You guys have seen it before today in the other semi-final. But as ADB falls, Caster wins Ice Flow. And we move on to the fifth and final round of this league of Season 1.
this fifth and final round, as I think both players are ready. All eyes are watching. The entire community is ready. As everyone takes a deep breath and waits for the finale. And well, we are underway. So this fifth round is decided um, by a random... Well, it's just decided at random in terms of who goes first. And whoever goes first doesn't necessarily have the advantage, but they can pick up both health crates if they're fast enough and get a shot away. So will it be ADB or Caster? It will be Caster to go first. And I think that'll be a huge blow for ADB's confidence. He would have been wanting to go first, but Caster will look to take the health. We saw it previously. It was 50 this time. It is still 50. So the health crates are randomized. Sometimes they'll give you 10, 20 or 50 health, as I said before. And yeah, Casa, like I said, will be picking up both of the health crates. So 20 and 50 gives him 70 extra health and it immediately flies into the center of the map, which is quite surprising here because you will get a shot away, but not quite, not quite. So ADB without any extra health. He has a pig in the center who he needs to deal with. If I were him, I'd probably jump into the tank and look to shoot the paratrooper. But that's kind of the strategy that Caster is going for here. He's kind of using that pig to distract ADB. So instead, ADB will, I think, ignore him for now because he is only a paratrooper. But if that health uh, kind of maintains itself throughout this game, it could be difficult for ADB later on. So he will get some damage here on the orderly. Doesn't get the initial 40, but he does get some chunky damage with the extra shells. The scout to go next who should maybe look to jump in the tank. Again, it's not not really required. It's not required strategy because you know you kind of take the risk of being damaged by 40 if your tank is destroyed. The tanks only have 80 health at, at the end of the day so it's uh, pretty balanced. Compare that to the 150 that you find in single player. And well, things could be a lot different. Caster does utilize the airburst. Gets the 35 and just a little bit as well. It gets the 8. So 43 damage there. And ADB with his Grenadier will look to, I think, finish off the orderly here, which could prove to be a decisive move here. If you can get this cluster bomb just right, it should be enough, but it depends how much health the orderly currently has. So he is down to 91. So he will need the fullest amount of damage possible. Rolls it along the ground. No, it bounces off the orderly. You saw it there, just bounced off his feet. And he's down to 31 health. So Caster can look to tranquilize somebody. He's probably gonna go for ADB's orderly, exactly that. And well, I think ADB will be kicking himself over that one. Could have been down to input lag. Could have been down to nerves. Who really knows? But that could be a turning point. Uh, because I think if ADB was able to take down Caster's orderly, things would be a little bit more balanced in terms of the power trooper on Caster's team with the big amount of health. So ADB taking as much time as he needs, he will break apart the body block here in order to get rid of the orderly once and for all. The last thing he wants is any kind of body block and he can kind of deal with damaging his own pig by 20 and he will finish things off here with a standard machine gun shot. So it pushes him away from his own orderly as well, which is good. Doesn't want any additional damage coming to his own team. And well, Caster down to four pigs, but he does have his paratrooper up to 200 health. So some pretty big plays happening from the get-go, but again, ADB's orderly just immediately down to what could potentially be 50 health here, but could also perish potentially. Just depends how much knockback is needed to get him into the vegetable patch. 
also known as the minefield. So down to 51, doesn't quite get enough, but he will lose a turn anyway. And Pesky over here on 107. Don't forget Caster still has a tank as well, both teams utilizing one of the tanks. But the question for me is when will ADB decide to start damaging the paratrooper? Again, he's not necessarily a big threat. It's only his health at the moment that is uh, going to be an issue. And I mean, when one of the tanks is destroyed, Caster will be able to just instantly go for the crates that drop down when the tanks are destroyed. And if you don't know, those crates give you times one. Ooh! Gives you times one high explosive grenade. So he does get 19 damage from the mine. Doesn't fall into the mines, though. And I'm kind of feeling Caster's comfort at the moment. He seems to be uh, very much in charge of this game. Is Grenadier only on 51 health, but it's not going to matter when you're able to hit shots like that one. So a ton of damage happening. He is going to run back into the playable area. And we're back to the paratrooper. So yeah, he will look to maybe nudge him into the mines here. It just depends on how accurate this shot can be. Not as accurate as he would have wanted, which could be dangerous for Caster. His Grenadier down to... can't quite tell. The ADB's Grenadier, that is. Uh, so he's going to leave his tank and instead poison the grenadier bearing in mind caster no longer has an orderly but caster does the same thing oh <laughs> like he fell into water there that was a little bit strange and then again this map is pretty weird so he will poison as well 28 but he is positioned kind of in the middle of the bridge there good place to be but i think caster will uh Look for a better opening. <laughs> so down to 13 health. And the Grenadier down to 26. It's going to be a big uphill battle here for ADB. If he wants to make some headway. There's going to come a point when he... Yeah, he needs to uh, use his highest biggest weapons to deal damage to the paratrooper but instead he turns his, his attention elsewhere I think he's just repositioning here instead goes for the scout it's an interesting strategy but he's looking for the explode no wanted to blast him towards the mines I think but the sapper over here still on full health So yeah, I can't help but feel like Castor is sitting pretty at the moment. He can't jump on his head as the bridge is in the way because he wants to gain himself an extra turn. So instead he looks for somebody to TNT, which to me... Uh, no, maybe not. He has jumped on his head to lower his health down to 25 and I imagine he's going to look to poison the Grenadier at some point. ADB's power trooper down to 81. As he moves back to the playable surface. And well, body block on the sapper. Makes it difficult for ADB. Strange little jump there. Not entirely sure what that was for. But yeah, I think ADB will be looking to avoid his grenadier being poisoned. And we'll instead look to, I guess, blast him maybe into the mines. If you can get lucky with this shot here, there is a potential for a kill. That's a little bit too much on one side. Gets 39 damage, and he does get the kill. So I had no idea how much health he had left. That caster's Grenadier down to 26. He will jump in the tank, which is one of the things I was a little bit concerned about when ADB jumped out of the tank is that he kind of left it there for the Grenadier to jump into. 
because I figure that even though Caster is poisoned and down to 26 health, he would jump in there anyway, uh, just for the sake of extra armor. So we will go for the Sapper here. Doesn't get full damage, only 36, but he does destroy the wall as well. And he could look to destroy the tank here. But again, the paratrooper in the center of the map just proving difficult for ADB. He does still have a full health scout. And he will look to destroy the tank. Which, depending on how much damage it does, because sometimes it won't do any damage and sometimes it will. So if he does deal damage, it will kill the grenadier. And it will indeed, but he does damage his own scout as well. So the Grenadier perishes, even though he was poisoned. You can kind of feel ADB running out of strategies here. The bar says that things are still pretty equal. But Caster now picking up the high explosive. He will look to the Sapper. Or maybe someone else. Grenadier on 25, the Orderly on 13. It is not looking good at the moment for ADB. As the Oh, that might be a little bit too short. No, just gets it over the wall. 59, and look at the position there. Oh, the orderly could heal somebody here. Yeah, maybe look to heal up the grenadier or anyone. <laughs> and then look to tranquilize as well. But all of ADB's pigs here are just very close together. The, the paratrooper down to 22 health. I can't help but feel like the scales are turning in favor of Caster at the moment, but don't rule out ADB. Anything can happen. As he tranks the... Oh, he tranks Izzy, <laughs> the sapper. So the orderly will perish, but I imagine that ADB will look to jump on his own orderly's head uh, at some point soon. Caster still with a bunch of health, and if I was ADB, I'd look to poison the paratrooper, but I'm not sure. It's too risky to poison the sapper. But he's going to position himself close to the wall and gets the shot away just about. One second remaining, down to 90 health now. Oh, but it is going to be the paratrooper's turn again. Doesn't have any extra... Explosive weapons just yet, but he is looking to damage the scout who's hiding behind the wall there. It will cost a bit of time for Caster, but he should have enough to uh, continue his turn. And he kind of has yeah the pick of everything at the moment. He can get a kill on the paratrooper, gets the extra damage there, and that could be... Yeah, that could be even more damage onto the Grenadier, down to 15 health. And I, th I think ADB needs to turn his attention uh, to the Paratrooper in the in the, in the the center. Because his Grenadier is not going to be alive for too much longer. His Sapper is on 71 health. But the sooner he can get the health down of the Paratrooper, the better. Because at the moment, he does have more pigs. And he, I think, he might be looking for some extra damage on himself here. No, looks to just change his own position. Oh, and that could be huge. A big amount of damage. That should be at least, at least 80 health. It just depends. But Caster will look to blast him into the vegetable patch. Not entirely sure how much health the scout has, but he did have the most out of any of the players on the current battlefield. But I think he will perish here. So 49 damage. Yep, and he does indeed fall in. So it is down to ADB's Sapper. He's lost his ability to poison, which is a big, big issue at the moment. But the paratrooper down to 116, he could potentially blast him into the minefield, but don't forget that his orderly down to three health, so instead he's going to look to blast him towards his own orderly, so that when his orderly dies he can damage him even more. Whether or not it will pay off we will see, depending on where he lands. 
as he will be nudging down to 66 health. Oh, he's, I think, just within range. But no, it is the paratrooper's turn anyway. And it looks like the grenadier is going to perish here. So that will be one kill for Caster. Two kills for the poison on the orderly. And well, it all comes down to 2v1 here with the paratrooper. And the sapper of Caster against the single, single sapper of ADB. It's not looking good. And I think, I think it is going to be game over for ADB because Caster can easily finish this one as he loses his turn. And well, GG to both players. It is determined here that Caster, ooh, ooh, Caster should win this one. If he can jump on his head, which he does, he can finish it off here with a simple shotgun shot to the face. So the winner of the Hogs of War Season 1 League goes to Impastor's Caster. He has won the Rank Up Tournament. He has won this first season of the League. And, well, can anyone stop him? Who knows? But we're going to cross over live now to the opponents. I imagine that one is pretty devastated and the other is pretty ecstatic. <laughs> but we shall see. Wanted to fucking go first once in the last match, but okay. You're live, and congratulations, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. no, I'm just kidding. I'm not that salty. <laughs> I, really, I, I did a lot of mistakes, uh, and uh, I deserve to lose. Uh, well. Yeah, was... but chi chi to chi chi to IDB. Yes. That was... to everyone who played participating in the tournament, I guess. Yeah. yeah that, that, that's the... mm. And also thanks for all the viewers we had. I saw we had 30 at a, at a max. Yeah, we did, very much so. It was a very entertaining match between the two of you. Kind of what we have come to expect. It's been a long sort of 11 weeks of this league, but oh, yeah. we finally have <laughs> yeah. a victor. <clears throat> and the question going forward, I think, is can anyone beat Caster? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I'm sure you can. Someone, <laughs> I mean, it was so close. We, I went for... We went, um, <laughs> we went for, for five matches... Uh, about both games, so yeah. it's just that it's funny that I, I we got the same uh, maps on the on the rank up, and then I lost on both of them again. <laughs> <laughs> well, nevertheless, I'm sure we can all look forward to the the next rank up tournament, which will be happening uh, either in the spring or summer of 2021. No, let's um, just say soon. <laughs> not soon. No, we need a bit of <laughs> bit of a break from competitive play for now. But yeah, uh, I know. A big thank you once again to everyone who has been watching throughout these last two days. Yesterday was pretty rickety, but we've managed to make it through without any uh, stream issues, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone who has joined us. Thank you everyone who has watched and supported. And well, we will catch you later for well, the next game. <laughs>